Hi, and welcome to Mods. We're keeping you connected to inspiring science with virtual camp discovery, brought to you by Citrix, the museum's official innovation partner. Stop into today's episode to learn all about dinosaurs. Story time, fossils, and rhymes galore. Who could ask for anything more? Here's Oh Say Can You Say Dinosaur, powered by PNC Grow Up Great. Oh Say Can You Say Dinosaur? All About Dinosaurs by Bonnie Worth. I'm the cat in the hat. You have met me before. Today I will speak of the great dinosaur. Dinosaurs lived on the earth long ago, before you and me. So how do we know? From fossils, dinosaur teeth, eggs, and bone got stuck in the muck. Then that muck turned to stone. These fossils are old. They are dusty and worn because they were made long before you were born. Not hundreds of years, not thousands of years, but millions of years, long before you were born. Dinosaur hunters dig in the ground. All over the earth, these fossils are found. The hunters use tools to chip, chip all day. The fossils come loose, then they pack them away. Fossils can crumble because they are old. So dinosaur hunters must first make a mold. To the dinosaur labs, every bone, tooth, and bit is carefully shipped to see how they fit. Is this a leg bone? Maybe a muzzle? It's a crazy mix-up dinosaur puzzle. Step up and enter the museum hall where dinosaurs stand. Some are big, some are small. Here we will play the best of all games. Oh say, can you say the dinosaurs' names? Take care of your father, sweet Sally, dear Dick. These long words can make even grown-ups feel sick. And after you set them, you then get to see them in the Cat in the Hat Super Dino Museum. Dinosaur names are not easy to read, but give it a try. I will help if you need. Oh say, can you say Ankylosaurus? With a club for a tail and a back full of spikes, these di this dino was strong, like an army tank. Yikes! Now, can you say, Myasaura? There's one thing we know that this dino did best. She kept her kids cozy and safe in their nest. She kept the nest tidy. She got her kids food. She was a good mother to her dino brood. Now say, Tyrannosaurus Rex. You've said that quite nicely. Now you'd better go. T-Rex is no kitten. I think you should know. This T-Rex was strong, with long teeth sharp as knives. When most dinos saw him, they ran for their lives. T-Rex was a hunter. He hunted for meat. Other dinosaurs were his idea of a treat. Carnivore is a name that we give to dinos like this, who ate meat to live. Oh say, can you say Triceratops? This dinosaur's head had three horns upon it, sticking up out of the hard sort of bonnet. But though he was smaller and not half as fierce, his head was too hard for T-Rex teeth to pierce. So after a few dozen snaps at his face, T-Rex looked for dinner in some other place. Oh say, can you say a Patasaurus? I've gotten this rather tall ladder here for us to see eye to eye with a Patasaurus. 
These dinos' long necks reached up high into trees, where they fed on green leaves just as much as they pleased. Herbivore is a name that we give to dinos like these, who ate plants to live. Can you say Brachiosaurus? This dino was taller than 51 feet. And just how much food do you think he could eat? Nearly as much as a truckload of hay is what he would gobble day after day. That's how he grew to this size. As you see, the cat in the hat just comes up to his knees. Now, he's nowhere as smart as you or me. His brain is the size of a small zucchini. Oh, say, can you say Iguanodon? What he did with his thumb, we think that we know. We think that he used it to jab at his foe. Now say Deinonychus. Terrible claw is what its name means. We think that this dinosaur hunted in teams. Can you say Archaeopteryx? This fine feathered friend is the earliest known. This bird might have glided. This bird might have flown. One thing we must ask, and we must be quite firm, if this bird was so early, did he catch the worm? It's getting late now. I see night is falling. The museum is closing and your mother is calling. Before you head home, dear Sally and Dick, I have a surprise that is really quite slick. This dino is the earliest cat that is known. No one has seen it. It's never been shown. It's super terrific. It stands here before us. Oh, say, can you say, cat in the hat, a saurus? And that is the end. So we just read, oh, say, can you say, dinosaur, and we learned all about cool dinosaur names and fossils. So expanding on that, the people who find those fossils and study the dinosaurs are called paleontologists. We are going to be our own paleontologists. On today's craft, we're going to be making our own fossilized dinosaur skeleton out of pasta. Now this is a craft you can do right at home. All you're gonna need is a beautiful piece of paper, a drawing of any dinosaur you wish, some glue, and some assorted pasta. And that way, your skeleton will be perfect. Now the main things you're going to want is you're going to need the skull, the spine, some legs and arms. And like that, you're done. If you need help to know what a dinosaur looks like, you are free to ask your parents to go on the internet and look up pictures or go to your local library to look up books on fossils, dinosaurs, or paleontologists. There's no perfect way to do a dinosaur. There's thousands of species of dinosaurs still undiscovered. So maybe for your dinosaur puzzle, you can create your own what you think dinosaurs should look like. It's a real simple process. All you're gonna do is just put down a little bit of glue onto your paper where you're gonna put your pasta piece. And then just place it down just like that. It doesn't have to be perfect. It can be as creative as you want it to be. After all, there's still so much we don't know about dinosaurs.
extra dinosaur coming along. Mine's a little messy, but he might have had a little bit of trouble as we were getting him out of his uh, uh, stone. Getting fossils can be a little bit of a tricky process, because remember, they're really, really old, and we're picking them out of rock. Sometimes they're really fragile and can break as we're digging them out. I'm sure everyone has seen lots of different books and movies about dinosaurs, but in reality, we have no idea what dinosaurs really look like. It's really our best guess and estimate of what they look like, all entirely based on their fossils. So they could have had feathers, they could have been scaly, maybe they had hair. We don't know that because none of that gets preserved in the rock after a dinosaur dies, unfortunately. Those sort of things aren't preserved, so it's left to our imagination. What do you think? Do yours come out as pretty as mine? Thank you for hanging out with me and reading our book, and we will see you next time. Storytime is powered by PNC Grow Up Great. Thank you for joining us for Virtual Camp Discovery. This series is brought to you by Citrix, MOD's official innovation partner.